Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So at the time that I'm filming this, we're a couple days from Thanksgiving and it's finally now starting to get actually cold here. I've got to retire my flip-flops until next year. They had a good run well into November, but now it's time for the comfy, the cozies, and the warms. So I'm going to show you some really cute stuff that I got from Target. They had a really nice sale recently on pretty much all their clothing. Got some things in different sizes to kind of see how things fit. And I'm sure they will be having other sales like this throughout the holiday season. So I want to get this video up in case something catches your eye. And although a good chunk of the things that I have here I bought for fall and winter, a lot of the stuff I can also wear year round, which is fun. So we have, this is not even all of it, you guys. So we're gonna have a nice big fall haul today. So I'm gonna start busting these bags. Ah! <laughs> So the first thing that I have here is arguably one of the things I was most excited about. This was something that was sold out so many days during the sale that I didn't think I was going to be able to actually get it. But then lo and behold, I think I checked it like... 3 a.m. and they restocked my size in this color so I went ahead and put it in the cart before someone else could get it and I was a little surprised by how it came in the box. I'm going to show you guys a clip right before I got these out of the box. note I love that they're trying not to use as much plastic I noticed that none of my items except for the actual bag that they came in were wrapped in individual plastic for each item they were just folded nicely in the bag but this one as you could see was just kind of like thrown in the box just like not folded nicely just very haphazard and if you guys can see from the material here it's just like fleecy really soft material and cardboard has some edges that can be a little bit jagged a little bit rough and that can cause snagging so I just thought it was weird that they were just kind of like thrown in the box not folded or anything so besides that let's actually get into this cute little cardigan. This is from their Knox Rose collection. So I tried to read the reviews to get an idea of what size to order and they were kind of like a mixed bag. Overall this had great reviews but some people were like it fits perfectly just order your normal size. Some people said it was too small. Some people said it was perfectly oversized. So it's very like choose your own adventure when it comes to the sizing but luckily Target has a great return policy. It's very warm and with my ring light I'm like sweating right now. So I can imagine when I'm actually like outside this is going to be perfect but I can tell you right now it's it's warm it also has a design inside it has that cute two-tone effect as far as my stats if you're trying to get an idea of how it fits I'm 5'4 and I'm normally a large in size tops and I got a large in this it hits right below my butt which is good because creeps are gonna creep so sometimes I just want to cover up my butt when I'm out and about it's very very comfortable it is really really soft I don't feel anything coming off of it any little floofs I think this will hold up well it has a little sewn in cuff at the end the only thing that I would love is if there were pockets I'm a very anxious person and pockets give me comfort they give me like it's like a security blanket basically this would be if it had pockets but it says on the Target website under the description that there are no pockets so I knew what to expect when this bad boy came and because I love versatility and sometimes I want a cool tone moment sometimes I want something more warm tone I also picked up that sweater in the tan version people alluded in the reviews on the Target website that this sweater was a dupe for a much more expensive luxury loungewear type of brand and I'd never heard of them before so I got very curious so the company that people said that these sweaters were dupes for is barefoot dreams and based on the prices I can definitely see what they mean I would have to save the two I love the tan I just like the warmth and color but both of them are interchangeable in my wardrobe so I will definitely be alternating them the way I feel right now I don't even know if I'm gonna need a coat this winter because this thing is warm. <laughs> this is a case where I'm so happy that I ordered it in two different sizes. I love a mock net. Besides a nice baggy graphic t-shirt, a mock net is definitely my favorite silhouette when it comes to tops. And this one's a little loose to the neck, but I don't mind because I have a big head and a lot of hair. So that helps me not feel like I'm stretching it out and just like fighting for my life trying to put it on. But I got this one in two sizes because it's a slim fit crop top. If you give me the option of cropped versus non cropped nine times out of ten I'm gonna pick the non cropped version so I sized up to an extra large but then as I read more reviews people constantly mentioned how this thing was tight and very very small so I decided in addition to the XL I decided to get an XXL and I'm so glad I did I'm not even gonna try on the XL because this is as it is the XXL 
this is a little bit tight. This is what it looks like. Very cute crushed velvet moment. It is checking all the boxes for my inner 90s preteen. This is something that I would have loved to wear back then, but now I can, so that's perfect. Me sizing up two sizes gives me the perfect fit. It hits me right here. I also really hate cap sleeves. They are just so unflattering on me and uncomfortable. And this gives me a little bit more sleeve action, which I love. It is so soft. It's like an elevated basic. I can wear these with jeans, leggings put a denim jacket over it, put a leather jacket over it. The material, that crushed velvet, just gives it a little extra something special. Out of all three of the colors that I got, this this is the one. This is the one that first caught my eye in the store. This is the one where I was like, if none of them look good on me, I want at least this one, this one to look good on me. And I'm so happy with it. I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe. I think pink is beautiful, but I don't find a lot of stuff that's cute, that's pink in like the styles of things that I like. But this one, I am definitely a fan of. Super, super cute. The color is just so like, mm. I love it. If it came out with like 10 more colors in this, I would snap them up. It's much tighter than normal stuff I wear without being suffocating, so I am comfortable. It's a little bit sexy. Big, big fan. So on to the last color I got in this. And the last color is this kind of teal blue. I didn't think I would like this one. On the website, it was okay, but I wasn't sure. But I like it so much better in person. It's a really pretty unique shade of blue. If anyone at Target ever happens to see this video, please make this in like 20 more colors. Please, I, I love it. It's so flipping cute. Keeping up with the 90s vibe that I love oh so much is this little sweater that reminds me of something like an art teacher would wear. It's so cute, so vibrant, but I'm a little bit sad. Whenever I look up sweaters, I always make sure to check out the materials. I hate acrylic and wool. It's so itchy, I don't like it. And this is half cotton, half polyester. So I was like, okay, cool. We're not gonna have any itchiness. For some reason, the arms are really itchy. I don't know what it is, but I might just try to make it work anyway because I think it is so cute again getting some more pink into my wardrobe and like the colors in general I love them together they also have the sweater in green but I was all about this like pink purple blue green multicolor situation I got this in a medium and a large so I'm wearing the medium right now and if you like a more fitted look this would be good but I think I think I might be more into the oversized for this one but we'll see comparing the two but this is what the medium looks like and I got these two sizes to try because the review said that the neck was too loose for them I don't mind the neckline I think it's good. I like the whole like not feeling like I'm suffocating situation. So comparing the medium to the large, this is the large. It looks like it's gonna be a much, much baggier fit. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This is so much more comfortable to me. I like the fit of the medium more than I thought I would, but this gives me like just a little bit more room, a little bit more space. I love it so much. It's also not as itchy because the arms aren't as tight. It's still a smidgen bit itchy, but I can deal with it. haul is all from the men's section aka one of my favorite places to look for cute comfy stuff so with most places I shop I start in the men's section and then just kind of like dabble in the women's section but unlike everything else in this haul I picked this up in store I picked this up the last day of the sale when I was shopping and I really liked it I didn't know if I would but I am a big fan it's a ribbed very very soft hoodie and I was going between a medium and a large and I'm really happy I went with the large I've got like a lot of space back here so it's not too tight but it's a little bit more banded here so I think a medium wouldn't have been as comfortable but I just love this color I love like a really nice hunter emerald green and that is so hard to find sometimes it's a little bit too blue sometimes it's got too much like gray or like that mossy green type of cast but this pure hunter green is my favorite shade of green it's so pretty this also has a hood that's hiding back here very, very comfortable. You guys, my hair is so mad at me for this like constant trying on things. It's so tangled and sweaty and it's just not a good time back here. So wash day is gonna be, gonna be interesting. I see this is more of like a t-shirt hoodie since it is a little bit more slim cut. I love the little kangaroo pockets in here. Again, my little anxiety self needs some pockets, needs some something. So the next few things in the haul, as I mentioned, are all from the men's section. And luckily they are things that I can wear all year round. I have a few of these in my closet, so I already know and love them. This is from the men's original use brand. 
I love acid wash. Just like the velvet from the mock tee, it's another thing that makes a basic, like just a regular, regular long sleeve t-shirt a little extra special. So I decided to size down in this one because I have another long sleeve shirt. I got it in a size large. The other one that I have like this, that's long sleeve, I think I got on clearance and it's like a either XL or a 2XL and it is so comfortable but it's very shapeless on me. So I wanted one that had a little bit more shape but it was still kind of baggy and this is perfect. The only thing about it is that the sleeves are a little bit long but since this is in the men's section I'm totally okay with that. It was not designed for 5'4 me in mind but sometimes I like it a little longer too because again it helps my anxiety covering my hands too. Another thing that I would love to change is what I like to call the titty pocket. I don't know why there are pockets on things. And for men and women, I've never known a man in my life to actually utilize the titty pocket. Like, what are we doing? It's not a cute design element. It's slapped on so many things. I'm not a fan. But on this shirt, at least, the pros definitely outweigh the titty pocket. So I'm okay with it. But I would love if these came out sans titty pocket. That would be amazing. But yeah, this is in like a dark slate gray blue color. I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite t-shirts at Target. And I love that they've come out with different versions every season. That same top in green. Oh, I love green. So comfortable. The more I'm playing around with this long sleeve situation in this video, the more I realize I just do that in my everyday life. So maybe it's good that they're a little bit longer. Like I'm thinking back to like me being in weird situations and I do this like so that is now in the pro category for me. Love the color, love the softness. This is something that I can wear again until like maybe like the heat of summer. I should be good to go in our area, but it's so pretty. On to the last long sleeve shirt and then we'll get into some kind of very deja vu moments for the short sleeve one. I got another long sleeve version of that top in this like kind of plummy purple color. Again, that acid wash that I love of so much. So soft. Oh gosh. You could even sleep in this, but I wouldn't sleep in it because it's just so cute and I sleep really rough. But it's so soft that it feels like pajamas. I love this line from Target and I hope they continue to come out with new colors. Keep the acid wash, very cute. Hard to find an acid wash moment. Short sleeve version of the acid wash t-shirts, but if you guys notice, we are sans titty pocket. So nice. See, Target, we can do it. We don't need the titty pocket. It's unnecessary. It doesn't obstruct any cute jewelry you wanna wear. It's just, I love it. I love the no titty pocket. I love these nice, comfortable, roomy sleeves. I don't usually go for red. My mom was always like, oh, you look pretty in red. I don't like red for some reason, but I'm trying to branch out and just like the pink, get some more just vibrant colors in my wardrobe. And I really, really like this one. Again, the acid wash looks good on any color. It's a little bit more subtle in this red one, but that's okay. One of the things I like about like acid wash and tie dye is the variations. Just like all the rest, super, super comfortable. And with their short sleeve t-shirts, this is like my ideal where they hit on me type situation. I don't want it all the way up here. This is like, this is home. This is good. Here's our deja vu, the short sleeve version of that long sleeve green t-shirt. Look how cute it looks without the titty pocket. Oh my gosh. Okay. Target, target. Let's go, 2023 no titty pockets. Let's do it, let's do it. And last but not least, I got this shirt knowing that nine out of 10, I would not like the fit of it. They were sold out in all the other sizes except for medium. And I just wanted to see if I would like it enough to try to exchange it, see if I like the color. And I do really like the color. I love tropical print stuff. So this design is really nice. I like the acid wash t-shirts. This one is a little bit thicker cotton. It's not as soft, but still really, really comfortable. Even though this is a medium, not a large like the rest, it's not as tight as I thought it would be. But to account for any shrinkage, I think I would still like it in a size up. So if I can find this in stores, I think I would definitely exchange it. I think the purple color is really pretty. This is another color that I don't have a ton of in my wardrobe, like a pretty lilac shade. I think this would be really cute with some denim shorts next summer. Now this is something that I would actually like in a crop top, something about the design and the fit. So that is everything in my fall Target Tops haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to post links to everything featured here down in the description box. So if you see anything you like, check down there. Let me know in the comments 
comment section, are you for or against titty pockets? I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel big time. Let's YouTube know that you enjoyed it and they are much, much, much more likely to recommend it to other people out into the mysterious algorithm. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well. I would love to have you. Remember that I upload videos every Friday, so make sure you click that little bell icon so that you're alerted anytime I release a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.